So do you want to know how you can twin doors? Well then, I'm Paul and let's get to it. And also I will be showing how you can make your twins smoother later in the video. So there are many ways to open and close doors with twins. And the best way in my opinion is to just have a part and use it as a hinge that's going to be rotating the door. So let's make a door model with a hinge part and with a main door part. So I'm just gonna make this one a bit transparent. So we just have this, right? Now we need to set the hinge to be the primary part of the door. And we also need to add a weld constraint to the hinge. Set the part 0 to be the hinge and part 1 to be the main door part. And let's also anchor the hinge. And I'm also gonna get a door model just for the sake of having a door there. So here it is. It's just a basic door made out of parts. I'm gonna move it into the box. Then just put it in the door model. And I'm gonna just weld everything back to the middle part and now for the scripting part like i said we want to just rotate this hinge part right here let's just add a script into the model and let's refer to everything so we get the door and the hinge and for the twin we need to get the twin service and let's make some variables like is the door open a door cooldown and also and also a can open variable let's also make a twin info because it's going to be needed to create the twin and we make it from the twin info new constructor so as you can see right here it requires the time so you can set it to like 0.3 seconds then two enums one is the easing style and one is the easing direction let me just expand this and there is also well more things right but for the door we don't need the rest so you can set the enum easing style to be one of these and all of them just modify how the twin is going to play. And you can see from this visual presentation how they work. And like usual, I will be leaving links to everything in the description. But anyway, I'm just gonna leave it at linear because it's the simplest one. And then get the easing direction, you're just gonna leave it on in. But if you are finding this tutorial helpful, then please leave a like and subscribe if you aren't. Because it would really support me and my channel. And if you want to see any tutorials on anything, then suggest them down below. But anyway, now we need a local function which is going to just, well, create a twin and open the door. So I can do manage door and first we need to check if we can open the door and after that we set the is open to not is open and let's also get a rotation variable and we can rotate it around let's say 120 degrees so it's going to move 120 degrees outwards but if you want to close it we need to reverse the rotation so you can do if not is open then rotation is equal to minus rotation and here we can create our twin and you do so through twin service create method and here you can see that it expresses an instance which is the hinge the twin info which we just created and a property table so if you had multiple properties it's better to make a table right here for all of them because right there we can change the c frame then the transparency the position and you know so on but we just want the rotation so you can leave it there so i'm gonna put the hinge in then the twin info and the property table which is a table so we want to change the orientation and changing the orientation requires us to do so through the c frame we can do hinge that c frame and rotate it by the angle value from the rotation so you need to do c frame that angles and we want to rotate it on the y axis because the y axis is the green line right here and for this little box right there we can see that y is going up so we do zero then we change the rotation value to be in radians and then we do zero again and when we have the twin we just do twin play and let's also not forget about the cooldown so i can do task delay through door cooldown and then a function which is gonna happen after one second we need to set the can open to true and i'm gonna connect the manage door to the touched event and everything should be working fine so we touch the hinge and yeah it's opening and you can mess around with values from the twin info or even the rotation and just basically make whatever you want it's up to your preference so we basically just have the twin opening a door right now right but you can see that it's a bit choppy and like i said at the beginning i'm gonna tell you how you can make it smoother now and well the twins are this choppy because of the networking limitation the engine has and the data that the server can send is basically just limited so what we can do instead of playing the twin on the server we can play it on our local machine so we can add another script well i should probably also rename them this one is gonna be door local and we can change the script run context to be on the client and now what we can do is copy this part which creates the twin and paste it into this script right here let's also copy these variables then now we don't need the twin service right here same with the twin info and right now what we can do is add an attribute to the hinge through the script name the attribute to open and set it as a boolean which you can just do is open we want to change it right here whenever we basically just open the door and now we want to go to the local script and get the hinge and use a method called get attribute change signal on the open attribute and we want to connect the do twin function then we basically just set is open to get the attribute 
on open. So well, with these two scripts right now, we can do a playtest and get an error. But anyway, now if we touch it, it's just gonna do the exact same thing. But as you can see, it's way, way smoother right now. And I'm gonna go to the server. So every time the player touches the door, right, we change this attribute to either true or false. And the server doesn't need to play the twin anymore. The only thing the server does is change the attribute. And if I set it to true on the server and go back to the client, the door is gonna be open. And that's because the player sees the attribute change. And whenever the attribute changes, the client does the twin instead. And as you can see, if I touch the part, it's just going to change the attribute. And that's getting replicated between all the clients. And this is a side-to-side -side comparison on the twin playing on the client and the server. And here is a sold version so you can see the frame difference. But yeah, basically doing this instead of playing the twin on the server, like not only it's smoother on the client, you are also not going to have as many operations being performed on the server. But yeah, that's basically everything for this tutorial, so I hope you had a nice day and see ya guys!